Well, I'm happy to be on. I just got back from Georgia doing the 3rd of July, the 4th of July, the 5th of July, the 6th of July, and the 7th of July. And um, the most, it, most exciting thing, what wasn't the most exciting thing, but the thing that ha happened is that uh, I had a couple of dogs that come down to the house, and they just were stray dogs. So they, but they were good dogs. And uh, uh, I just said, uh, I had my sister to try to feed them before I left, so she would feed the dog until I got back. And I gave them a whole hoagie before, a hoagie before I left. So they was happy. And so that made everybody else happy, I guess. <laughs> well, my sister didn't have to come down to the house to pick up any trash, although she didn't pick up no trash anyway. <laughs> but she didn't have to come down to the house, period. So, because she got a great big house up there. And so this was around, this was on the 3rd of July. And the 4th of July, my cousin had a, a wedding uh, down at the down at his cabin. He had, they have a nice cabin down on Big Cedar Creek, down in Chubtown. So I went down there. There was a couple of hundred people down there. And uh, they had a big, big picnic. I mean, a very, very large picnic. And uh, uh, got introducing each other to each other because uh, a lot of people hadn't seen each other and they, a lot of them came from different parts of the uh, from the United States. They come from uh, uh, Cleveland, Detroit, Chicago, Georgia, and surrounding areas. And we had a wonderful time down there. And so that took care of that day. That was the 4th of July, which was very nice. And on the 5th of July, I just sort of relaxed and everything and, uh, uh, and uh, waited until uh, uh, till the, the 7th of July. That's when they had the party, not the party, excuse me, the, the family reunion, I guess, the family reunion picnic. So that was about three, three or 400 people there that uh, that was from all over the area, all over everywhere. I don't know where all them chubs came from, but they was there, so you could look them all up on Facebook. But uh, I didn't get a chance to meet any of them, although I was there. Uh, every, I guess it's like everybody else when they go to a picnic, they bring their own people with them, so they all sit together. So that's what happened there. So we didn't get a chance to meet anybody. Well, we had a chance, we just didn't meet anybody, I'll put it that way. And the church, uh, they had people in the, in the church, going back and forth in the church, viewing the church. And uh, uh, they had big, big, uh, took pictures on the outside of the church, too, a lot of them did. But uh, the area was sort of not a very, uh, I would say, uh, um, it was a friendly area for the for the picnic. They had the famous, famous chicken all, always, that no matter where you go, you always gonna have chicken. So we went on my sister's house and we had, uh, we just continued the, uh, our little picnic from there. And that was the, the events of Chub Town for those few days. <laughs> I think you could also find them on, on, on Facebook too. So if there's any questions, I'll try to answer them. But that was my event for those four days. What was one of the moments that stood out that was really uh, a wonderful moment uh, concerning uh, that particular weekend celebration? I think it was when we was all up to my sister's house and we was having breakfast up there. Uh, she had a very nice house. And I guess it was maybe about 15 of us that they came from Cincinnati down to uh, Jeff Town. And so we, uh, uh, gathered up there and had breakfast in the morning. So that was, I would say that was the biggest highlight of that event. I noticed uh, in the fat, uh, last couple of years, there's been a lot of interest in Chubtown. And um, what do you believe that would be a blessing when people come down to Chubtown to visit? Well, I think the blessing would be that they would be able to see what their forefathers and and also their uh, great grandparents and stuff like that uh, had had built the, the church, the cemetery, 
and the beautiful uh, landscaping around the area and that a lot of children still own property down in that area. That's what I would think. And when you go down to uh, Chucktown, what are some of the things that you really enjoy doing? <laughs> I really enjoy doing what I had, had been doing all along. I love, I, I mean, for some apparent reason, I don't know why, I just like to cut the grass down there. It takes me two days to cut them, so I have to switch line boards every two hours. And, uh, uh, and also, I, I like to tour around the city and, and uh, go out to the different areas and stuff and see how everything else gets around the general area within a 25, 30 mile radius. You know, that's going to Rome and Cedartown, Rockmore sometimes. All right. I want you to share with us, I believe you have a dream, something that you'd like to see take place over the property of uh, the Chubbs and uh, what would be uh, some of the things you'd like to do? You're working on many projects. What would be some of the things that would bless those that would come and tour the Chubb uh, property? Well, I think uh, the main thing I think I would like to see that the house still stayed, stand, had a, a uh, with an, um, excuse me, um, I found I sound like Biden right now, but uh, but but uh, I would love to see the house re restored to a degree, although it's it's nice now, but to a degree to where everyone would feel comfortable being in there, you know, and uh, and I'd love love to see the the new uh, the new type of uh, uh, of, uh, of uh, things like. I'll, I'll go back to this here. Uh, what is it called? Wi-Fi and, and all that stuff that they don't have in the in the wrong in the in, in the rural areas. The yeah. internet. Yeah, those kind of things like that. Okay. Modern stuff. And what would be some of the things I heard you mention once about a lake? Oh, oh, there's a, a pond we have in the back of the house. We're gonna re we'll redo that. Uh -huh. I like to see that enlarged a little bit. Yeah. So okay. my brother, he did want to uh, have like a catfish for him. So, so that will give him an opportunity to, to see what he going to be able to do. And we recognize that there's uh, more Chuck property, but we're talking about the property that you guys own uh, down in Chuck Town. Yeah. So would you uh, say that you're considering maybe for people that will come and tour, having picnic areas or anything down for them to relax as they're touring the property? Well, uh, as far as relaxing, I would say the cabin, my cousin's cabin, I would say that would probably be the area because most people go to that anyway because it's right on the Big Cedar Creek and they've enlarged that and it's very, very nice, you know. Although uh, you have to bring your own uh, spray I mean, bug spray. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you get mosquito bites and everything. So, but other than that, it's real pretty, you know. And also, not only that, all the surrounding areas right there is very, very nice because that's all all of the Chubb property. And not all of Chubb property, but all of my cousin's property, including Henry Chubb, which is Nick Chubb, the football player's father, his house. He has a very nice house. He just built the house. Very nice. And that will give you a, a nice tour. It's very pretty down there. Okay, any more updates? I know you're setting up a cash app for those that would like to um, contribute to what you're doing and the redecoration, reconstruction. So what would be one of the first things that you're planning on doing with um, some of the funds that come in? Well. I think the first thing I think I would do would probably buy an uh, upgrade on the tractor and uh, and uh, rechange the entranceway to the to the house. Yeah. All right. And what would you like to know the people to know about Chuck Town? That's really special. That stands out uh, in your heart, in your mind, even from childhood. What's so special about this place? Well, I think everyone would have to come to their own conclusion what's special to them. My, mine is actually the house that my grandmother, my grandmother lived in, and my mother, and her sister, and her brother, her, her, her whole family, I think, you know.
to me, that's what I would like. That's in fact, that's what I'm actually really doing right now. You know. All right. Now, will you be setting up any areas for chickens and goats and horses and all those things? <laughs> no, no, no. I won't be able to. I won't do that. <laughs> no. Well, will there be a place? I'm thinking of, as a tourist now. Will there be a place on uh, Mama Tuck? property where people can come and barbecue or will you be serving uh any uh snacks or anything along the way beverages uh, um, lemonade kool-aid in the shade well we have a uh i guess we have about three or four acres that we use for barbecue and stuff like that you know so it's already equipped for for the barbecues and all of that family and also family reunions too so we can just about do whatever we want to do down there and I like to, I like to sit on the front porch and look out, you know. And I'm not looking out at much. It's just your road is all I'm seeing because that's all that there is. And that's the whole truth. Okay. <laughs> but it's quiet and peaceful. And we do have, we don't have all the goats and cows and all the pigs and horses and stuff, but we do have turkeys. <laughs> and we do have, we do have, uh, uh, Deer, we have deer, and we have a bunch of uh, different different things like that. Wow, wow, stuff like that. You know, plenty of deer. So let's just say a tourist would come uh, to Tuck Town and come to Mama Tuck's place. Um, would they be able to have a place to sit and perhaps early in the morning a cup of coffee? And would they be able to possibly view uh, the deer that you're speaking about? Uh, yes, uh, they can have coffee all they want. I have coffee every day. I got a fully equipped kitchen with a coffee pot and everything. So, I mean, it's like, not like we're, you know, just, just out there. We have all the convenience of the city, like at the house, as I do anyway. So, okay. and uh, yes, you could have whatever you wanted out there. You know, if you wanted to have a small picnic with just your immediate family or whatever you if it, it, it's i mean you can do that too the only thing the other thing that i may upgrade to it would have be another bathroom you know it only has one bathroom it has three bedrooms a full dining room a full kitchen and um what i say three bedrooms and a front porch and a back porch okay would you be thinking about uh doing a bed and breakfast um with uh mama Tuff's place uh where people can come in and stay for the weekend on the inside and perhaps have someone uh one of those special cooks that you know inside cooking up a great breakfast for the tourists and um serving them on the patio in the back or sitting on the front porch uh which you can be considering any of those things for the future projects no that had been brought up to me before but i i don't think that i would like to have that i i, I like to have the thing uh, the place just for for my immediate family and friends okay so what, they, could, uh, they could have their own breakfast and <laughs> What about, since there's so much property and land, are you considering maybe perhaps putting some small cabins uh, where people can rent out and go fishing and tour the area? I hear they have great flea markets down that way and just a place to reflect um, and look at the beauty of the land. Um, it had been considered before, but I think that uh, I would let, like just to leave it the way that it is, natural the way that it had was when my mother was, was young and her mother and her sister and her brother and her mother and father so i would like to really do to leave it the way that it was all right sounds like a great place to go and tour and keep it moving to other areas what about this spring i hear people go and drink this spring water uh, what about that oh that that is a nice thing to do to bring their own. Uh, the water is so good in case spring that people go to the store, buy a bottle of water, dump it out, and get the water out of the spring. Wow. That's how good the water is. My goodness. Yeah.
and it's a nice place. I mean, if you just just touring, and if you're in that area, that would be a very very nice place to go. You know. All right, all right. Any other updates you want to leave your viewers with? Well, just that, that I was I was happy that I could go down at that time that I went and I enjoyed myself while I was down there that that special time and uh, and I will briefly update them on some new things that's coming up. All right. Well, thank you for stopping by Pooja's page and um, his reflections on Chub Town. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon. <laughs> and hopefully Pooja will be updating you. us soon. All right. Have a great day. I can't wait till you edit it. <laughs>